Okay, here are the pieces that you need. Um, emphasis on this pipe right here. It is the insulated pipe. So it has a little bit of insulation. Very key to the rocket mass system. You have a 90. You have a 90, which is going to be, you move it around just a little bit to get more of a 45. Um, you've got, a, I guess, a 12 foot section. This is all six inch pipe. And then I've got a, a lid here. So that is what is the core, the actual rocket itself. Uh, we've got seven of the large blocks, two of the small. Just getting the uh, form working. Here's how we have the form going in. Like I said, I have 45 degree angle on this one, sort of coming out at an angle. You'll feed the wood down here, self-loading. It uh, goes down that turn, goes straight up a 90, and then into the insulated chimney. There needs to be a space in this area right here, because this is the, the hot heat is gonna come up here. It's gonna stop at a cap. It's gonna go around this pipe, be sucked out the hole in the back, which is where you build your the main thermal mass. And I have a cap here. In case you want to put it out, you just steal oxygen from it. It'll go out pretty quickly. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. This is open space for now for the actual exhaust to roll around and then exit out the back. These areas here is the thermal mass. All areas that are like this that go down need to be filled with sand or rock gravel. So all those areas will be filled. Come up here to the chimney. This thing here, this is the top of the chimney. Then we do have air in here, air around the chimney. So you can get the fire going, then cap this off, and the air circulates around this open space that doesn't have any gravel in it, and then exits the exhaust, which is on the same level that the fire the the fire comes in at. There's the pipes right there. The pipe. And then we'll build our mass coming off of this, our thermal mass. That's thermal mass, but the additional thermal mass will be coming off of that. So the air, in theory, gets sucked down that pipe once you start a fire in the very bottom. It comes up through the chimney. You get it going here, you get a good pull on it. Then you put this lid on. That pull will continue. And then the excess, after it gets burnt up, will exit this hole, heating the additional thermal mass. Uh, now we've got some of the caps on. It's starting to look like a finished product. Okay, you don't have to get real pretty with this stage. This is the exhaust where the thermal heat's going. Put down some insulation because you don't want all that heat that you're storing up to go into the ground. Ready to go down, you want it to come up and stay in there. Uh, we're gonna have a pipe coming out and all of this is gonna be, other than the space of the pipe, it's gonna be coming out here and exhausting. All of this is going to be filled in, uh, you know, fill all these cavities, filled in with gravel, sand, a thermal mass. So this whole big box is going to be what's going to be heating, um, what's going to be heating for eight hours after this thermal mass gets hot and just keeps radiating heat up into the greenhouse. All right, the easy way to get, the easiest way to get this going. I got a little fat liner there, some newspaper, uh, two sticks, squeeze them together, push it down the hole, and then once. You get a draft going, you're good to go. I only have two hands, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the fire and show you how it's burning. All right, next up is making the cob. Two parts sand. I got sand out of the creek down there. Uh, one part clay, uh, tops, uh, you know, dirt, dirt that's below a foot or two feet in the ground works pretty well. Um, and then some straw to bind it all together. Mix it up with some water, not too much, not too little. And you have a cob. No other way of doing it than to do it. Got to get the right mixture of sand, clay, straw, water. Get it all mixed up.
fire lit. I got four pieces of wood in there. It's pulling well. Pulling well. And if you look here, you see a large amount of heat swirling up. Right on the inside of a chimney. I'm just sealing up all the place where smoke can get out of the chimney with the cob. The cob will dry pretty, pretty good. This insulator and also thermal mass as well. Make it a little airtight so this chimney, all the smoke goes up the pipe, down through the chimney, and then out the exhaust pipe right here. Which this will all be cobbed over as well. The greenhouse is starting to take shape. Uh, like I said, 10 foot across from here to here, 16 foot from here to here. I have four cattle panels. Just uh, temporarily got them to, to stay put. Oh, just put some simple screws, making sure they're not going anywhere on the inside. It's got a pretty rigid rigid feel to it. It does do some sway, but we're gonna go ahead and put this two by fours, frame it up, get a door in, and get the plastic on. Uh, the rocket mass heater has uh, cobbed all the places that need it. It's still drying, but as of now, she's cranking. Doing real good, warming that. All of this mass up, I've got you know gravel down in here, everything's heating up. Can't tell it, but there's some hot, hot, hot air coming out of here and hardly any smoke. Still got do a little bit of work, make it look better, get some more cob on it, but things are coming together.